Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to record an outfit of the day and show you guys what I'm wearing for my 11th wedding anniversary. It's incredible to me that it's been 11 years since I married my husband. Um, it feels so much shorter than that. It doesn't feel like, 11 years just seems so long, but it's been, it just went by so incredibly fast, it's crazy. Um, and we both feel like there's no way we fit 11 years into the past 11 years. It's incredible. Um, I think if you had asked us on our wedding day what 11 years would feel like, it was like an, inter an eternity. Um, and it just was like that. You know, it's three kids later and we're like, wow. <laughs> so um, it, it's amazing. Um, but it's going to be great to spend some time with my uh, little cousin, Kristen. And I call my little cousins little because they are like the great-grandchildren of the family of my grandmothers. Um, they're my cousin's kids. And um, I have several cousins who have children who are this age. But they are in their 20s now. But they will forever be my little cousins because they were babies. When I was like in my you know teenage years, they were little. So to me, they're always going to be my little cousins. So yes, my little cousin Kristen is going to be taking care of my three minions. Um, and I'm excited, but I'm kind of scared only because I know Evan Abel, they are good. They will be good for her. Um, it's the baby that makes me nervous because I have never left her. Um, it's very, very rare that I leave Harper anywhere else. Um, we go to the Y to work out and that's about it for like an hour and a half maybe. Um, that she's with the girls of the Y, but it makes me so nervous because I'm just like, ah. and she's very, she's good, but she's very um, needy, not needy, she whines because she can't really express herself, so she's not like fully talking, so she'll eh, 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 but she'll point to what she wants, but it's just, you know, that you don't know yet exactly what she wants. Nervous, because I know what she wants, but it might be difficult for other people to understand. So yeah, it just makes me a little nervous. Um, but I look forward to spending time alone with the husband, um, because it's very rare that we get to be alone. I mean, we spend a lot of time together, but we've always got our three kids and our dog and our house and our stuff going on, so it's gonna be fun. Um, but this is the dress that I'm wearing. It's an Erin by other Erin Featherston dress, and I thought I would share with you guys my outfit of the day. Um, my shoes are the most comfortable shoes that I own. They are my favorite shoes. I love these shoes. Um, my dad actually really likes these shoes. Every time I wear them, he's like, those shoes, those shoes. And I caught him the other day taking a picture of them. And I was like, what are you doing? He's like, they're just so pretty. <laughs> so I just think it's funny. Um, but let me go ahead and stand back there so you guys can see. I like the pockets. It's got really pretty pockets, which just make it so fun, <laughs> which I like. And then this back here and foot um, are really, really nice. So let me come forward. Um, and here you go. There's the pockets. And I really like these like full dresses, but they have to hit me in this exact spot for it to look small. Because if it's lower, I just look wide. And if it's higher, I just look huge. See, so if the volume was up here, I would just look big. Um, but yeah, it that spot because it just makes your waist look really really tiny so there is that what is that no I don't sorry I don't know what's going on right here all these pop-ups are pretty. there we have that um, so yes definitely the small waist with the pleats and the pockets which just makes it so convenient like right now I have my lipstick in there I'm just showing you guys, but here's the back. Let's see that. Which is really, really pretty. It's got that little bow. Um, and then the gold kind of zipper, which made me want to wear goldish shoes because the zipper is gold. So I just thought, you know, to accessorize like that. And I'm pretty minimal when it comes to jewelry. I really don't like to fuss up too much um, because I feel like it interferes with whatever you're wearing. So my earrings are Kate Spade. They're just some little crystal earrings by Kate Spade um, and that's it my wedding rings don't fit so I wear these they're just some stacking diamond rings um, because yeah, I have to get mine adjusted and I just don't have the time to do it um, our jeweler is in the Galleria and that's just an age from here <laughs> and then to go into the jewelry store with our three kids in tow 
it just seems like a nightmare. So yeah, we don't we don't go. My husband's like, I will get them done. I will take them in. Um, you know, one of these days when he takes the kids, and I can just go into the store by myself and have them fitted and changed. Um, and then I've also got a watch that needs a battery changed that I just can't yeah can't do it. So anyway, um, my normal necklace from Tiffany's, which I love and wear all the time. Um, and that is it for jewelry. I did not wear anything else. I do not have anything else on because I just don't want the fuss um, of anything. So there is that on my face. I have on this lipstick. It is called Flat Out Fabulous by Matt. I love this lipstick. This is my absolute favorite shade to wear with navy blue because I just think it plays so well off of each other. I think they work really, really nicely together. And then whenever I wear colored lipstick. I tend to wear a color that corresponds with that when it comes to blush. So today I have on this shade which is called Azalea um, and you can see how I match tones to the tones between blushes and lipsticks. Um, so yes, that one which is a pretty pink is on my cheeks and on my lids which you can barely, barely see. I did kind of a smoky eye and then I put some glitter um, and it's a metallic shadow and these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows that I absolutely love. I just love them. I think they're so pretty. Um, let's see. I have on fresh and bangle in the center and the crease, the chocolate in the outside corner and then that noir right there that I smoke in and then this color which is a pretty metallic shade. How beautiful is that? Do you see it? Yeah, you can't see it because my lighting's bad. There we go. You see that? It's so pretty. And I just popped that all over the inner quarter and kept it down in my crease. And that is so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, and then I have on House of Lashes Iconic Lash. Um, false East or Fake Lashes. Which I love, but I can't find on the website. So I'm like, what the heck? Did you discontinue these? Are you not getting them anymore? Because I think they're the most amazing lashes. They're so full and lush and just beautiful. I've had mine for well over a year. I just take very good care of them. I wash them every time I take them off. So you literally take them off and wash them with baby shampoo, pull all the glue off carefully, make sure you get any mascara you may have applied off, and then dry them between towels and I apply them back to the plastic that it comes in so that it keeps that kind of shape, um, that curved oval shape. I do that every time I wear them, literally every time I wear them. And these, you know, they're $12 lashes. They're not the mink lashes that are like 30, but they are definitely more expensive than the Ardell ones that you would buy at the grocery store or the drugstore. So for me, um, I just take very, very good care of them. And they're so thick and high, you know, high quality that they last for a very long time. Multiple, multiple wears for sure. They are also the most difficult lashes I've ever had um, to put on. So they're thicker, they don't bend as easy to fit your lid, and you literally have to pop it in the center and then wait, and then go in and pop that end on, and then wait, and then go in and set that inner corner. And if, um, if it, the outer corner is not dry yet, when you set this inner corner, that outer corner pops up. It's just the thickness, the overall weight of the lash that just plays with it. Um, so that's that. Let me show you my shoes really quick because I love them. I'm going to take them off because I hate my feet. I hate my feet. That's like my number one thing. I can't stand. You know what? I did not wear... Dang it. I didn't use clear deodorant, so I'm getting a white marker. Okay, these are my shoes. They're Jimmy Choo's, and they are beautiful. They're like a gold, they call them a pewter, but to me, I don't know if they're bronze or gold, but I find that they go, I mean, the heel is definitely gold, um, but that kind of color there, they have them in like a true silver, which is silver, and then they have them in a true gold, which is really, really gold. This kind of bounces back and forth between silver and gold, which is why I liked it so much, because I felt like I could wear it with so many more things, since the tones are... You know, this looks like silver and gold. This is definitely gold, but that's that. So, loving these a lot. These are size 37 and a half. Um, yeah, I'm a seven and a half in American shoes, and I find I'm all over the place when it comes to your of the day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I know this is going to be a little late when I upload it because I just won't have time tomorrow. It'll be a Sunday, and I'll be like doing a million family things, a million kid things, changing diapers, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.